Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. Now, as promised, the uh, Brick Tops return is uh, is going to be out shortly. I'm just doing it now. I didn't have time to do it yesterday, I had that much on. Diet way with almond milk, you know almond milk, it's better than dairy isn't it? Could make a difference when I start jumping on Spencer Fearham, couldn't it? Now, straight in with it, no messing about. Brick tops back, stronger, faster, quicker than a speeding bullet. Bigger, better, wiser than ever. Now, you've got to give him credit, haven't you? Old Brick Top, right? Call him what you want, old fish eyes, Frank Warren, Frankie, Frankie Warren, Brick Top, call him what you want, old shoulder roll. He's always doing shoulder roll, isn't he? Old Eddie Earns put him through Mill, in the last decade. But, as Bob Adam says, he's a comeback kid, isn't he? You've got to give him his credit. You break him in half, he's boxing through and through, isn't he? Now, you don't mean to say that we have to give him an inch, because if you do, he will take a country mile. It's just in his nature, isn't it? But he is boxing, and he's not darts or fishing or pool or snooker or like that, he's boxing. Now, I know his history, don't I? I've studied him for years now. He's one of them old school promoters that came on the scene when it were Mike Barrett, Jarvis, his there, Mickey Duff, them boys and you know he set about them, he got stuck straight into them and you've got to give him his credit haven't you, he stood the test of time somebody close to me once said he could survive a nuclear blast you know he's, always, he's there or thereabouts and you've got to give him credit You've got to give him credit. Look what he done with Carl Frampton. You know, Eduardo couldn't get him a fight, could he? Couldn't get Carl Frampton a fight. Oh, Bricktop did though, didn't he? Look what he have done with him. You'd have to have Carl Frampton in, in, in top 20 pound for pound in the world, wouldn't you? Why not? Look, look at wins he's had. He's up there, Carl Frampton. Now, where does he go with this with Tyson Fury? Oh, that's what's bothering me now. I've got a theory on this. I've been looking into my crystal ball. Do you know what I think? Because I'm that sceptical about the boxing business from what I see. You know, all the little snide moves that you see. It's usually the people around you where you've got to watch. People from afar are alright, it's usually the people that you know. They're the ones that want to bring you down. Your mates and former mates. And they're the ones that are around you that know you. They're the ones that bring you down. So always be wary about new people that you meet. But this is how I look at it, this theory I've got. Tyson Fury had a five fight deal, didn't he, with Frank Warren, yeah? So Tyson's come back. He's for Serifa Serifi, right? We're going to nip this in bud now. I know that Oasis one, he'll be like that, won't he? <laughs> Tyson's best in the world. Look, nobody's saying Tyson Fury can't box. But he's had a long layoff, hasn't he? Why did he have a long layoff? Why? Did Wilder get him to take drugs? And take drink? No. Did Eddie Earn? No. Self-inflicted. Right. So he's beat Vladimir, he's had a long layoff, he's come back. Serifa Serifi, it looked awful, didn't it? It was shocking. Who did they put in after that, William? Who did they put in? Pianetta? What did we think to Pianetta fight? I mean, he couldn't get him out there, could he? Now, they had a five fight deal. So he's done Serifa Serifi. Pianetta. At this stage, Bob Arum's not interested, right? 
Not interested at all. Goes and fights Deontay Wilder. Promotes the hell out of it. Gets his story across to the American public. The big wigs at top rank. They all look at the story. This is the story, right? We're not talking about wins here. We're talking story, depression, drugs, and anything to get PR. You name it, they've done it. But let's talk wins. I like to talk wins. So, he fights Wilder. We all had him winning, didn't we? I had it a draw. Watched it again. You could give him it by a round. You couldn't make a case for a Wilder win, but you could for a draw. But you could make a case for a Tyson Fury win. Only by a round, though. But a lot of them rounds are hard to score. Now, when you're fighting away from home, you don't always get the rubber green. Now, Bricktop always shouts off, doesn't he, about the fact that home advantage is what you need. Well, why didn't they get home advantage? Could that have been the difference? Uh, maybe? We don't know, do we? We don't know. Now, when he went into the ring, they said he was stronger, faster, quicker than a speeding bullet. The only one who didn't say that was John Fury. He said he's 60%, and I think he probably were. Could that other 40% in rematch make a difference? Probably. But will Wilder be better? Yeah, I think he will. Has Tyson got better since then? Well, who has he beat since then? Let's break it down. Tommy Swartz. Tommy the Machine Gun Swartz. Would you say that's a great win? He stopped him. He did what he had to do. Otto Wallin. You could put a question mark against his performance, but he got caught. So it's more unanswered questions than anything else. So what do we do as boxing fans? Do we say Tyson's back to his best? Or do we say that he's just here to get money? Top his bank balance up? Well, we're going to see, aren't we? I personally don't think the fight is going to happen on the February 22nd. That is my opinion. I'm entitled to that. She fights him on 22nd of February and beats Wilder. He is the man. He's not Ali, but he'll be up there, I'm telling you. But he's in an hard fight now. In boxing, one month can be a lifetime. But since he fought Wilder, how long has it been, really? Well, when they get in the ring, it'll have been 15 months if they do fight. 15 months is a long time, and since that 15 months passed, he's had a bad cut. A bad, bad cut. But what's Wilder done in that 15 months? He's put two guys to sleep, on he? He put one to sleep, left on a stretcher, and the other one had his brain scrambled. Right. The guy's got more KOs than anybody. He's not TKOs, KOs than any other world champion that has ever been in history. So, is it an hard fight for Tyson? You bet it's an hard fight. Is it an hard fight for Wilder? Yeah. But like everybody keeps saying, Wilder just has to get it right for two seconds. Tyson's got to be on point for 36 minutes. And he's 15 months older than last time. But he's going to say he's better and all that. But he'll also have the mental scars of, God, if this guy hits me, look what he can do to me. But then you can also look at it from the flip side of the coin and say, I got up from his power and I won't rest it round. So there's question marks of a both and that what that is what makes it an interesting fight. Very interesting. Is it worth 25 quid? I think it is worth 25 quid. Uh, are they being greedy pouring it up? Yeah, but what you usually get if Sky do it, they do it, don't they? Sky put it up to 20 quid, didn't they, at one point? They followed suit, didn't they? And it hadn't been 20 quid for that long, has it? A couple of years. It's been 20 quid for two and a half years now. And they just put it up to 25. I think, what was the first 20 quid one, was it? 
Vladimir. I don't know, you'd have to check Vladimir against Joshua. But it's an intriguing fight and Tyson's going to do us all proud and, and uh, do the business, isn't he? I mean, who's to say that Tyson ain't going to give his cut to charity? I mean, he's that type of guy, isn't he? So, but if he goes up to 25 quid, I think it's worth it. But will they swerve Wilder? That's the big question. And has Tyson Fury got a deal with Frank Warren? Well, we don't know, do we? But... There's a lot of things going on at the moment. There's a lot of people playing their hand at the moment, but it is what it is, isn't it? So we're gonna see, aren't we? But usually, in my opinion, when you get to this level, a lot of these things end up in court, don't they? And like I said, I don't think Tyson Fury's got a deal with Frank Warren at the moment. I think his five fight deal's up. So we're gonna see, aren't we? We're gonna see what happens but nothing surprises me in the sport of boxing look at Billy Joe Saunders all them years with Frank and what's he go and do all them years with Frank and Hammer and Eddie Earn, what's he go and do <laughs> well he gone he's crossed the road hasn't he and been told that they're gonna get him Canelo and fights like that well, we're going to see, aren't we? Because so far, you don't know like, like that's going to happen, does it? It's all pointing towards Billy Joe Saunders against Callum Smith, which I don't want to see now, to be honest. I did want to see it, but now that John Ryder's been robbed, I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. I want to see John Ryder, Callum Smith. They've got unfinished business. If we can have Paul Smith against Abraham rematch, and Crawler against Linares rematch we can have John Ryder definitely against Callum Smith so come on Joe Gallagher play ball but getting back to Frank Warren's comeback I think it's good how he's conducted himself and come back with BT Sport after having a torrid time I think you've got to give credit to his lads the, the red haired lad Francis that show he put on earlier on this year is my favourite show of the year. I don't want to hear all this. Oh, it's an event, favourite event, this and that. We're talking boxing here, right? That show, uh, your call, is that, that the one where Dean White's fighter won? Did he win a belt on night? That show is got has got to be the yardstick now for what shows have to be. That's got to be the minimum requirement. And I think the place looked to me like it were rocking. So I want to see that. In everybody on everybody's lips when they all vote to end it year for best show at year. I mean, we can all say, yeah, it looks good having big shows at Leeds or O2 Arena and stuff like that, but for value for money at your call that night, everybody went home happy from what I've been told. They all got value for money, and I think shows like that uh, are what boxing needs, in my opinion. So, fair play to the young Francis for doing that. I don't know him, I don't know the other lad, is it George? He seems pretty clean cut, so good luck to him. I hope they put Eddie Earn in his place, because they're running riot, they're running riot aren't they at the moment? With other people's money, typical Hearns isn't it? Running riot with other people's money. Dazone and Sky and they're abusing the EIS at Sheffield. I mean let's not forget, the EIS at Sheffield is lottery funded lottery funded that's what it is so it's not matchroom funded uh 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 lottery funded all right let's get it right here lottery funded and joshua's been there 10 years and he's been a pro since two, 2000 and what 13 but he's been up there all this time how many more fighters have been going up there training carl frotch was training there four and a half year so we all know what's going on up there don't we all all i know is this it's lottery funded and it's for olympic athletes it's not for matchroom athletes it's for olympic athletes this is why we have a conflict of interest with robert mccracken up there who i like but i want to see fair play why can't glenn rhodes fighters go up there or why can't mark tibbs take rv on up there and train and train him you know why can't uh, 
Dennis McCann, is it? Well, uh, the, the Frank Warren fighter go up there. Why can't Daniel Dubois go up there and train up there? He did as an amateur, but why can't he as a professional? Joshua trained up there as an amateur, but not as a professional. Uh, but And as a professional, but Daniel Dubois trained there as an amateur. Now he's turned pro, he can't go up there. Why is that? Because he's not in the circle at match up. And this is fundamentally wrong. It's what's wrong with boxing. It's like Liverpool and Man United training at St George's. You know the the England setup for England footballers and Joe Blow from Donny Rovers not being able to train there. Well, why is that? Why is that? The football league won't do it. So why should boxing allow it? Why aren't the boxing board of control doing something about it? You, Les Potts, why aren't you doing something about this? Ex chief of police round here. Why aren't you doing something, Les Potts of the board? Yeah, you, Les Potts. And what about you, Charlie Giles? Why aren't you doing something? Or you, Robert Smith? Shit house. Why aren't you doing something about it? Hey, why aren't you a lot doing something about this up here? Hey, at the EIS. Why not? Hey, we want a level playing field. That's what we want in boxing. A level playing field. All right. So peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep supporting boxing. I wish I could get a woman that would look at me like I always look at the last drop of my milkshake. Peace out.